Okay, in the next part of the movie, Rich Shoup um, animates the snowboarder into the scene. Well, I don't, I'm not doing a snowboarder. I'm doing this Yellowstone trip website, let's say. So I have another photograph of this entrance of Yellowstone, but this time my son is standing in front of it. So instead of having the snowboarder come into the scene, what if I just animate him into the scene? That would be kind of cool, right? Um, he, he'll probably not like it, but... Um, I'll probably like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, zoom in on him a little bit here. And then I'm going to get my uh, marquee selection tool here. This is an, I'm in Photoshop. Here's the selection tool, right? Okay. And I'm going to just drag a selection box over, box over him, right? And then I'm just going to go edit, copy. So I've made a selection box of this character who happens to be my son. Now I'm going to hit File, New, right? And automatically... Since I copied it, the width and the height is automatically placed into my File New dialog box. So all I have to do is click OK, and then Edit, Paste, and in pops um, the photograph of my son into this new window. Now, this is going to be um, fairly easy to work with. Um, you can see there's a white background layer over here, and then he's on top. I don't need the white background layer, so I'm just going to take this white background layer and then click on the little trash can here. I'm in the lower right-hand corner and that's gone, the white background layer. So now I just have him. And what I can do now is I can erase. So you can see here if I erase, I erase to transparency. Also, he's a little bit dark. It was kind of an overcast day. So what I might want to do is image adjustments levels, or I can do layer, um, new adjustment layer levels. In this case, I'm going to do, um, yeah, I'll do layer new adjustment layer levels click OK and I will um, it's not it's already kinda dark I need to lighten it up All right lighten him up and right here I need to maybe lighten up his jacket a little bit All right there we go and I could even darken that All right there we go and click OK. If you don't like it with the adjustment layer here, you can just double click on it, it pops right back open and you can change it again. Okay, so this is stuff that you need to know for my Photoshop class. Uh, not a big deal. Also, I might want to colorize him too. So, layer, new adjustment layer, um, hue saturation, click OK. There's my adjustment layer, colorize, and now he's got that colorization too which would um, go with the whole site thing, right? Which could be kind of fun. So I click OK, and now he's colorized. So now I've got these layers here, though. I'm going to collapse this layer. Collapse. So now I can see my layers better. I can collapse this layer, too. Now I see my layers. I want to work on layer 1, and I want to erase. All right? So that's what I want to do. I just want to erase with my eraser. 100% opacity, 100% flow, brush eraser, and um, I want to erase all the way around him. Okay, and the best way to do this is to also crop in tight. So you get your crop tool, and you crop in tight on your subject. Then you hit enter to crop. Okay, so then I crop in, and I've got to do some detail work now, which means I've got to zoom in and I've got to get an eraser and that eraser is too big use the bracket keys on your keyboard um, and do some fine erasing around the edge so that you're erasing to transparency as you erase to transparency you should see a checkerboard pattern appearing if you don't you're not erasing to transparency alright so there we go All right make it smaller even get the hair in there, right? Little hair, you know, keep his hairstyle. If you want to slide over, you hold down the space bar and you can drag over and then you can keep erasing. Make my uh, brush a little bit bigger and erase. So this is what I'm going to use instead of a snowboarder, right? So I erase the whole thing. And I'll come back in the next video after I've erased it and show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, and um, and show you how we'll animate it just like Rich Shoop. All right, but you can see that once again that you know if you're going to make stuff in Flash and make it cool, you also need to have 
Photoshop skills, right? It's not just enough to have flash skills. You need to be able to create media, work with images, and do things. So it really helps if you know how to work with images and how to save images, how to erase things to transparency, and how to save the files so that you can keep the transparency. All that stuff is necessary. And if you can do that, then you can really make a lot of cool um, uh, applications for Flash with, and you know make them look good. Um, once again, make sure you zoom in when you do this kind of work and get smaller brushes when you need them so that you can get the kind of detail work that's going to look really good on your final character. All right? So I'm just erasing right around him and I'm going to finish this up and come back to you in the next movie.